Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a quick comparison and demo between the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and the new Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. If you're new to my channel, hello. I hope you will subscribe. I have very dry, dark circles under my eyes. This is something that I talk about all the time on my channel, but I'm always trying to find a very hydrating concealer that doesn't look creepy under the eyes and looks very natural. Typically, my preference is a medium coverage that is hydrating rather than a more matte, full coverage sort of concealer. I wasn't a huge fan of the Tarte Shape Tape, so I do want to preface this with, you know, that's kind of not my thing. I'm not huge into really thick correctors under the eyes. I actually just did a review on the new Becca concealer and I'll leave that linked down below. Right now I have the Maybelline Fit Me on one side and the Born This Way on the other and I will insert demos so you can kind of see for yourself what you might enjoy more and you can kind of see the skin and how the product actually goes on. Let's jump right in. So the new Born This Way concealer is a half an ounce and I actually have the shade Almond on. Very interesting shade. A lot of uh, Born This Way shades tend to lean a little bit more yellow, which is something to keep in mind. And this is definitely not my shade. With the Maybelline concealer, I'm in the shade Fair typically, but I put on light today just so I wouldn't look crazy in this intro. But the Too Faced Born This Way concealer comes with a half an ounce, which is a lot for a concealer. It retails for $29. And the Maybelline Fit Me comes with 0.23 ounces. And there's definitely a lot less shades of the Maybelline Fit Me, but this is super, super affordable. I get these for about $5 a piece. At any drugstore, you can pretty much get a discount on Maybelline products. I wanted to do a video comparing these two specific products because the Maybelline Fit Me has been my holy grail concealer for probably like the last five years. I really do not stray from it because it is about a medium, light medium coverage, it's super hydrating. It gives me enough coverage, but it never looks heavy under the eyes. I could be having the worst skin day and it will never look bad on my skin. It's just one of those products. I think it's a very unique formula. I apply this concealer in a very similar way to the way I apply this one, which is I put on the concealer, I let it uh, sit for about 30 seconds to a minute, and when it dries down a little bit, it actually doesn't move around the coverage as much, so that's really my preferred way of applying this concealer, and anytime I do, it, it just looks beautiful. This looks great with full coverage makeup. It looks great with no other makeup on the face. It's just a really versatile, lovely product, super affordable. I mean, I've raved about this in so many videos, so I won't stick here for too long. But if you do enjoy this, I have good news. I, I like, am so surprised. If you've watched any of my other videos, I am so picky with base products and concealers and it takes a lot from me to be like overwhelmingly, yes, this is a really good product. Uh, I was expecting to hate this. People are comparing it to the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm like, well, I didn't like that concealer, uh, so I'm not gonna like this one, but let's give it a go anyway because Let's just buy everything, Amanda. Really, I ended up buying it and people were saying it's a lot more hydrating than the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like, let's try it out. This is awesome. And I will get into the demo now. You can see the difference in these two products. Obviously with the color, and I apologize for that since these are not my correct shades right now. But... I think what makes these two products actually very similar is the texture. It's both a very liquidy but creamy and hydrating texture. The Too Faced is a little bit thicker than the Maybelline and I think that you need a lot less product with the Too Faced. Right away, the Too Faced is not as radiant as the Maybelline Fit Me, but it is still a radiant product. It's just not ultra dewy like the Maybelline is. And I really do like that for under the eyes personally. The Too Faced has a lot more coverage than the Maybelline Fit Me, which, you know, I love the Maybelline Fit Me, but if there was an option I could have for the same finish and the same healthy look under the eyes with a little bit more coverage, like, I've wanted that for so long. This gives it, and I honestly can't believe it because... Again, five years, slave to this product. Nothing else has ever even compared to it. 
um, but this definitely does. I have the Maybelline Fit Me under this eye and the Too Faced under here. And you can immediately tell like there's a coverage difference. It's, it's also kind of weird because my lighting is a little bit unbalanced. So this is looking a little bit darker. This is kind of a better look. Um, here's the Maybelline Fit Me and then here is the Too Faced. So obviously this has more coverage, but this looks hydrated and very natural. So they're definitely two different looks. And if I'm being honest, I really like both. The Too Faced does crease and I find that when it creases, it's a little bit more noticeable than my Maybelline just because of texture. So Too Faced, it's a little bit more thicker. When it creases, it's going to look a little bit more apparent. Uh, because the Maybelline is like a very thin product that you can build up. Uh, I don't see the creasing as much. But right away, like, this is perfect for no makeup or everyday makeup. Uh, super hydrating. I mean, I just love it. But this, this is the same sort of finish with just that pop of coverage that I don't always want. But I really do like, especially when I'm having like a super dark under eye sort of day, which really depends on the day. Today, I happen to be still hungover at like 5 o'clock, so. so I appreciate the coverage today especially. But overall, I think if you're looking for a high coverage concealer that is very hydrating under the eyes, this is blowing me away. I prefer it to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I do like that concealer, but if you do like the NARS, give this a try. I think you might like this even better. You also get way more product, way more product than the NARS Radiant, uh, and it's less expensive. And I see myself repurchasing this already. I've used this for so long and I love it so much. And you know what? If I'm being honest, I don't see this completely replacing my Maybelline Fit Me but I see it like, I see using both of these. Overall, I'm really pleased. I'm glad that I bought the product. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope the demo was helpful. If you guys have any questions about the product, leave them down below and I will get back to you and I will try and be as helpful as I possibly can. Make sure to subscribe if the video was helpful and you like me. I do weekly content on my channel and I hope that you will be back for my next video. So I will hopefully see you then.